I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a favorite sacrament. It's whatever sacrament I'm, whatever my, whatever sacrament I'm doing at the moment is my favorite sacrament. And I don't mean to, to weasel out of the question. I know I should probably say it's the mass, but honestly, there are times when a person comes in, a big fish for confession, who absolutely you know just needs confession and they're being touched by the grace of God and you're the one that's being able to forgive them and put them back into the church, it's an amazing personal thing. Just like I just prepared two couples this morning just for classes in a sense for weddings this, and, and they're great couples. And just to think this is beautiful that all the family that's gonna come, the kids are gonna come from this couple that they're gonna raise their kids Catholic and to see their love and it's a beautiful thing. So I, I couldn't say, I mean the mass certainly is very close to my heart. I love those words of consecration this day. I love the ability to preach at the Mass. Um, I love we have adoration after all of our morning Masses at my parish and just to continue to remain with the Blessed Sacrament. Um, there's just nothing greater. There's nothing more peaceful or more joyful. So if anything, I'm just uh, a failed priest in that I get distractions or don't appreciate the majesty of what's before me. But when God does show me the glimpse, um, it's very overwhelming in, the, in a very beautiful way. So, yeah, I like them all. I like all the sacraments. There's not one that's better than another because it's what that person needs at that moment, whether it's anointing of the sick or um, baptism. They're just all great. A wise and holy priest once said to me, I asked him, what would you have done different? He was, uh, re he's retired, he's older, and he said, I would have been more bold. And those words really caught me, and I thought, you know, that's true. When I get back and look at my life, I don't want to have regrets. I want to be bold. I want to profess Christ and everything. And so my challenge to those men who are thinking about the seminary is be bold. Right? You will never regret trying the seminary. If it's not for you, God's going to let you know that. If it's for you, you'll love the priesthood. And either way, you'll be a better man and a better Christian man for it. But I still think back to those words, be bold. We don't need weak men, we need heroes, we need men of God, so be bold, enter the seminary.